Hey, so my name is Anna and I want to talk about my conversion to Judaism. So, since I was a kid, and it's really odd, um, I was raised Christian, but I never really believed in Jesus or anything they taught me at church. And I really had a lot of problems because of it, because I didn't accept uh, their messiah and um, throughout my childhood I've been through a lot of complications and curiously enough I became an atheist at a young age I started studying the Torah uh, I didn't become um, interested in converting right away uh, it's curious that uh, Throughout my life, I started. I was always drawn to Jewish things, and I started studying Kabbalah when I was 19. Then again at 21, and then again two years ago, or something like that. Um, of course, I didn't understand it because I thought I was studying alchemy, but it was um, some Kabbalah. I started due to alchemy, studying some Kabbalah. Of course, it was not in the context of the Torah, but I think that whatever I've done led me to Judaism. Also, I think my soul was always drawn to Jewish things. When I was, again, 21, I, I went to live in an old Jewish neighborhood that I wasn't aware that was a Jewish neighborhood right across an old synagogue that I was really unaware that it was a synagogue until this year I found out it was a synagogue and I was living all over the ruins of an old Jewish neighborhood and last year uh, was crucial to my conversion and it's the thing here in my city I was always driven to go to the synagogue I it's like whenever I have certain something that I'm drawn to there, I find myself going there and just stepping on the doorstep, looking inside and, and never quite daring to walk in. And there is a lot of things that I don't really understand and so this year, I started interacting with uh, Mordechai, um, who is Jewish, and he started seeing a lot of Jewish traits in me, and we started discussing, and the more I talked, the more I was drawn to what he had to talk, then I started finding out all these things that I did that were related to Judaism, and um, I wasn't really so aware of it. and. Then I started converting, and uh, as I started keeping kosher, I started discovering that my family had trait, you know, behaviors that were typically Jewish. Um, my grandmother, my, my great grandmother, my grandmother's mother, covered her hair, and I think it. She was the last woman in my family to cover her hair. And uh, she shagged her heads. We, it's, it's, there's a lot of things that really point to a likelihood of Jewish ancestry in my family. And um, I tried to reach out to the Shavuot Israel rabbi to convert, but I'd have to move to Belmont. So I wasn't really lucky. There isn't much job opportunities there and uh, I really can't um, move there. I don't have my own financial independence and I need to get a job there to be able to move there. Then I started saving money to go to Israel and um, I went to Bat Ein and uh, to the Midrashat and they talked things uh, about tuition and stuff like that. I can get some work study to reduce a little the tuition, 
but uh, of course the Midrashat also needs funds and they can't get that much help, but to be Jewish in Portugal is really hard and I've, I've been learning it the hard way. Um, I lost a lot of things because of my religious views and I don't have any support here and uh, there, I don't have a synagogue near, well I have a synagogue but it's a museum. There is no rabbi here. I have really nothing to to be able to convert here. So this is why I want to go to Israel, to the Midrashah, to try and convert there. Um, I visited, it's an amazing place with amazing books. The Revitan is amazing and uh, they have a strong Orthodox program recognized by the Beit Din, which is, it's an amazing place. It's a religious community. They have several synagogues, especially in the Ashkenazi and uh, Chabad synagogues uh, are the ones that interest me the most. The Tsimdush Etzion, it's a great area with really, really religious people and the great community. Uh, I met amazing people there and uh, that's uh, my, my wish to go there and get close to Hashem and you know it's so hard to keep kosher here, it's so hard to observe the mitzvah and even if you want to find a job here, uh, they I'd have, you know, here you'd have to give up Shabbos to be able to have a job. Oh. And the anti-Semitism here is dreadful. And I never thought I'd face it. But the last two months have been really hard to me. Uh, I'll have to leave this house soon. Oh, I lost my... Oh, you know, my only income. Uh, they think that I am radicalized because I I want to convert to Judaism and they, they kind of confuse it with Islam and they, I don't know, it's, it's weird. They, they, they accept people that worship a dead man and statues, but somehow being Jewish here is extreme. <laughs> And I don't have anyone Jewish around me. And you know, I want to be able to go to a place where I'm able to connect to Hashem and learn and live as a Jewish woman. And you know, because knowing the truth, I can't just be a Noahide. I really need to connect to Hashem. Moreover, I believe that my ancestors were Jewish and it would be a way to honor my ancestors by reconnecting to Israel, to Hashem and the Jewish people. I think that's the best way to, you know, get back and I it's really I'm trying to not be emotional about this. Uh, and there's so much to say, there's just so much to say, I want to keep this short, but there's just so much to say. So yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself and um, I've been learning a lot. I keep Shabbat, um, except for I turn on a switch because I'm not sure about my Jewish status. I keep kosher. I do the best I can to observe all the holidays and mitzvot. And uh, I've been saying my prayers. Uh, uh, you know, I daven as best as I can. I just, sadly, I cannot go to shul on showers. And I really miss Vatayin for that. I really loved going to the evening and morning service. I just 
So it's like you live in Israel, you don't know the blessing that you have to be able to connect to God and go to shul whenever, you know, every Saturday and every Friday, you know, every Shabbos, you're able to go to shul. It's such a blessing. We don't have this here and I really miss it here. But then this is not about me going to shul. It's about everything else. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional again. So that's it for this video and thanks for everything. Thanks for listening to me. It's hard for me to make a short video because this is such an important thing for me and I okay, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to, uh, not going to cry. It's just it's, I've been through so much emotion lately and I, I mean, anyway, thank you for everything. Uh, and uh, I don't know what else to do. It's, thank you very much for listening to me. Bye, and I'll talk in the next video. Thank you.